Standing out here uh, in a nice trailer. There was some rain that moved through the area here at Land of Legends just a few moments ago. It has stopped, but there are rivers here in the video area, so we're hoping that we can still get in some fun here tonight. If you've seen the 63 Street Stock out at Land of Legends Raceway, this is the guy who drives it. He has about 10 races under his belt at this point. Had a 12th place at Outlaw on his first time there. His best finish here is 13. Mike Fellows is a 46-year-old rookie, so for all you guys... Who always wanted to do this? Yeah. You're saying it's too late. It's too late. Mike's Never too late. Tell you that it, yeah. there you go. Perfect timing on your part. So how you doing? Not too bad. How about yourself? Good. Good. I know. First start with. I noticed we upgraded on the car. What What uh, was the biggest thing? Cause it looked like you had a, a really old street stock. It was an old street stock. It was just you know it just wasn't right and uh, bent the frame when I hit the inside wall. Oh, so, you did uh, ruin the yeah, car. Yeah. Okay. Put a small twist in the frame so. For what it would cost to fix that, I picked this this other car up. So okay, this looks a little more updated, is it? It is a little bit more updated. It's uh, actually Adam Depew's old car from 2018. Oh, so it's not that far off then. No. no. Okay. No. How much different is that to drive than what you had before? Totally different. Uh, How so? This is a leaf spring car. My other car was all coil over. Okay. So it's a little bit of an adjustment, and this is actually built to be a race car. So I'm still learning that I got to drive this thing a little bit harder. So that was almost the other one, so more of a pure stock car yeah, then in yeah. some aspects. Okay. All right, so walk me around the corner. Walk me around the track. We're going into turn one. What do we do now that we didn't do before? I can drive in a lot deeper. Okay. Uh, the car sets a lot easier. It takes a set and stays there? Yep. Okay. Uh, and uh, it'll actually drive off. I mean, okay. So it, it's a, a big learning curve, but mm -hmm. it's getting there. Okay. Getting Two there. totally different ends here at yes. Land of Legends. The fans might not know that from watching from the grandstand. Most drivers at your level of experience tend to be better at one end than the other at a track like this, are you? Yeah. Which you know, ends better, I'm a, which is worse. A little more comfortable coming out of two than coming out of four, but mm -hmm. I think that's got a little bit to do with the wall there. So. And, and <laughs> for new people at Canandaigua, the backstretch is so wide and yeah. curved, I would imagine it's tough to know Lots. exactly where you should be, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard finding the entry point there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Get lost sometimes. So you do like a lot of new people where. I find somebody who knows this track and kind of driving their tire tracks almost. Sometimes. I try to for at least for a couple laps till they're way way in front of me. But. So you do until the tire <laughs> yeah. tracks are not as visible. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> as they were before. So what made forty-six-year-old Mike Fellows decide I'm going to race? Well, I've been coming here since I was a kid. Uh, my dad raced. My wife's dad raced. So and I I can finally somewhat afford it. So mm -hmm. it, it was time. Okay. What were some of the things, because I've had this conversation with people before, I mean, look at all this stuff you've got here, the spare tires, the hauler, yep. the trailer, uh, all these tools, the compressor. The race car is really just a small fraction of what you actually need, Yes, it? it is. It is. There's did a lot you, more into it. than. Did you know that? I did. Okay. I've been helping a few guys for the last couple of years around, so I, I had a good idea what it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. um, just on the track's so a little bit different, but yeah. as far as... The monetary wise, mm -hmm. I yeah, was, and, and I was the stuff prepared. you needed, yeah, yeah. you had. Of course, there's a suit too. Yep. Suits aren't cheap, yep. uh, especially for guys like us who can't take the yeah. off the rack uh, <laughs> a medium suit that they that they sell yeah. at a cheaper no, there's, price. There's yeah. No medium suits around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah same with me. Mine shrunk. It sat in the closet yeah. too long. So uh, that does happen, guys. It's the fibers. It's the yeah. sweat. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike, with you're that. with me. I'm with you on that. All right. See, so if his suit shrinks over the off season. It's what happens when they sit in the closets. <laughs> so are you a goal-oriented guy? A little bit. So what's our goal? I'd like to get a top 10 before the end of the year. Okay. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh -huh. I think I'm getting closer. Okay. I think I'm getting closer. Only a few weeks left here. Only is that going to do uh, it for you? Or uh, I plan on running out well, probably at least once more mm -hmm. this year. Well, they have that big race. At the end of the year, yeah. Yeah, uh, so that's end of September. the one, 100. I'll probably go there for okay. that. What are we thinking about for next year at this point? Are we thinking about upgrading or learning, continue to learn this well, car? Probably continue to learn this car, uh, see what happens. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this car, so. Here's the biggest question. Are you having fun? Lots of fun. Yeah? Lots of fun. Okay. And you think about it every day, don't you? Pretty much. Yeah. I'm in the shop every night mm -hmm. doing something, yeah. even if it's just the littlest thing. Yeah, you're walking into Wegmans thinking, oh, I wonder if I did that, if that would yeah. make the entry better, right? <laughs> People are probably looking at you, what is this guy thinking? You know? yeah, yeah. But they don't even know there's a race car driver in the store, nope. do they? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Oh, that I fly under the radar. Nope, I fly under the radar. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, so hopefully someday you won't be able to do that. Yeah, you know, maybe someday. About Mike uh, getting a lot of wins down the road. Good to meet you. I know we're on Facebook, so I'll share this on your page when you get it. For all of Mike's friends, hit that down there, that blue E, that'll subscribe. It just gives you the title of who we're talking to, so that way you know what's new. And uh, I hope you have fun, and maybe we'll see you get that top ten later tonight. All right. Thank you.